Hallelujah, because he is worthy. How many know he's worthy of all our praises? Praise God. We could talk about God from morning to night, you know what? And we will never finish the book. We will never finish the story because he is that kind of God. He's a good God. And he's shown sure up worthy to be praised. And I thank and praise God for my being here this morning. Thank and praise God for you all being here as well. Like ladies say, it's been a long time. <laughs> but praise God, how many know change going to come? Praise the Lord. Sometimes I felt like some kind of way. Sometimes I felt like I was all alone. Sometimes I just felt like he hadn't left me. I went through a dry place, but thank God, he brought me out. He brought me out with that outstretched arm. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Glory to your name, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I come, Lord, I come humble. Come thanking you for your goodness and your blessings and your mercy. Thanking you for all that you already have done. God, and I thank you for that you're going to do. Lord, and I just praise you. I lift you up. I give you glory in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask that you touch all over the nation this morning, God. Lord, I ask that you touch the one that's unconcerned this morning. Lord, I ask that you, hallelujah, raise them up. Give them a mind. Let them know, hallelujah, it's all about you and not about us. I thank you today, Lord. I thank you, Lord God, for the mindset. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for you being God and God all by yourself. It's, as it said, can't nobody do it but you. Can't nobody do me like you can. Can't nobody do it but you. And I want to thank you today, Lord. Ask that you word my lips, Lord. Brow my old tongue. Let only the words of you come out of my mouth, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen, and thank you, Lord. Amen. And I would like to repeat, happy Mother's Day to all mothers. I told Pastor I was not going to do a Mother's Day sermon because it ain't about that. It's all about Jesus. But he did say, honor thy mothers. And your days will be long up on this land. So we want to honor all mothers today. Even in my mother's absence, she's still present with me. Thank you, praise God. I remember when we were little children, she used to get us all ready and put our little red roses on us, and we'd go on to church. And she would have a little white rose on, which we know that represents the deceased mothers, and today I wear my white rose. Amen. And my scripture for today, praise the Lord. I'm gonna run a few, few. You know I normally don't do that, but it's a new day. <laughs> it's a new day, and I thank God for it. And I do have a little subtitle. You know what I? Oh, okay. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Walking through your troubles. You know, all of us get in trouble sometimes, have a little trouble here, there, and yonder. But how many know we can walk through them? Because 2 Corinthians 4 and 8. Say so we are troubled on every side, yet not despair. We are perplexed, but not, despair, not in despair. Persecuted, not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Praise God. You, you all may have a seat. Praise the Lord. Sometimes you feel like all hope is gone. Feel like God just ain't what he, who he said he is and what he said he is. But how many know 
God is everywhere. He everywhere at all times. No matter what, go, what you're going through, no matter what it sounds like, what it seems like, what it looks like, God is still God. And he is on our side. Believe it or not, he is on our side. Glory. Anywhere and any time. Praise God. Don't ever, ever think that God done left you. I know sometimes you feel that way because sometimes I feel that way. But you got to learn how to shake it off. Because one thing about God, it ain't him that got you feeling in that situation. Know that there's an enemy out there. One against your mind. Telling you what you can't do. And what going to happen to you if you don't do this or that. But I dare you to call on Jesus. Romans 8 and 18. Praise the Lord. How many know that was my coming out piece? Because I, I went through a little something. And God was saying that no matter what the doctor said, no matter what the doctor done done, I am your healer. Yeah, he might can cut you up and all of that kind of stuff. But when your healing come forth, God going he going to do it. Because he said he would. God bless you. Hallelujah. And, and, and this right here gave me all of, the, all of the strength that I needed to get up and to raise up this arm. How many know I couldn't get it up? I slept in a recliner for four months. I couldn't lay down. From one recliner to the other. I sleep in one and then when I wake up in the morning, I can't get up out of it. So I sleep in the oven that had an automatic lifter to lift me up. God is a way maker. He'll bring you out if you just trust him. And believe what he said. Believe God's word. You know we said that, but get down in the monkey in the mar and believe that thing. Because he is who he say he is. Walking, walking through your troubles. Sometimes you got to walk. Seem like ain't no way out. But just keep walking. And the scriptures say, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed. Just keep walking. <laughs> Just keep walking. One day you'll see. And I thought about all of the things that Jesus went through. God gave his son and he knew the things that he was going to go through. But yet he did it for you and I. And it's up to us to take advantage of that. Take that opportunity. Don't let the enemy get you down. Because that's his main purpose. The wear out the patience of the saints. He come at us in all kinds of ways. Full force. But don't let him get you down. <laughs> yes, hallelujah. <laughs> this morning I was so thankful hmm. when my son knocked on the door. Ha <laughs> 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 Glory, 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 glory. 
<laughs> Let me know I wasn't alone. <laughs> Take a little time out. Glory. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. God is good, y'all. All the time. All the time, and he's good. No matter what you're in. No matter what you think you're going through. No matter what your trials is, because you know what? He promised us trials. He promised it to us. He said, you're going to have trials and tribulation. But be of a good cheer. Other words, the scripture said, count it all joy. When you fall into them diverse temptations. Knowing. <laughs> Glory to God. That's why you, you got to know. You got to know that you know that you know. That he will bring you out. Hmm. <laughs> Glory. And the scriptures say, praise God, Romans 8, 28, he said, we know that all things are working together for our good. Yes, if you got an ache, it's for God, it's for your good. For God to get the glory. It depends on how you take that situation. That God would be able to get the glory. Because if you wimping out, God ain't going to, he ain't getting no glory. <laughs> Mumbling and complaining, God ain't getting no glory. <laughs> you got to take that thing. Yes. Putting on the whole armor. That we may be able to stand. Uh -huh. And the word of God said, and having done all to stand, stand there. Don't move your feet, stand right there. Because God will bring you out. But when you start wimping out, you messing up. Fight a good fight. That's what Paul said. I fought a good fight. He said, I kept the faith. That was one time Paul said, it would be better if I go home and be with the Lord. But for your sake, I'm going to hang on in him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Don't, don't kid yourself. God is just who he said he is. Walking through your troubles, hallelujah, know that he's right by your side. When you get up in the morning, first thing I say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you for waking me up. Thank you for another day. Yeah, the enemy got everything looking bleak. But God still sits on the throne. He knows just when and where and how. That he going to deliver us out of all of this mess. All we got to do is hold on. Just a little while longer. Just hold on. Hold on till your faith don't give up. Don't have that wavery faith. It got to be solid. Because he said uh, uh, unstable. It's like a boat out on the water when the sail is, 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 is blowing it any kind of way. But we got to be stable, steadfast, and unmovable. And keep God's word on your forefront of your mind. Don't put it on the back. Put it on the forefront. So when you get up, you'll know how to recognize who woke you up. Cause we can't do it. Mm -mm. 
Because he said, all things work together for your good. For your good. Jesus went to the cross for our good. Because if he had not went there, we wouldn't exist today. It would have been all over. Glory to your name, Jesus. Mm. Glory, glory, glory. And I'm like, Brother Stanley, I ain't going to be up here long. <laughs> glory, 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 glory. Mm. My last scripture is Romans 8, 38. And 39. Roman is a good book for me, y'all. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> yeah, Paul was talking. He was saying something. And if you can just graft it. Graft it just a little bit. And tell God, thank you. Because if it had not been for him on our side. Well, 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 you know the scripture said, if the righteous scarcely make it, that ungodly and that sinner man don't stand a chance. Because he said that. Guess what he said? If he scarcely, a righteous man scarcely make it. You know what, we ain't, and that's why we ain't got no time. We ain't got no time to waste. We done waste enough time. It's time to get that thing right. Check yourself. Don't check me, but check yourself. Because I'm going to check myself. And see. And see where I stand. Glory to God. So don't think you got it all wrapped up. Because we ain't never got it wrapped up. Only way we got it wrapped up, I will tell you when, is when God called your name. And said, come on home. It's wrapped up for you. It's wrapped up. And <laughs> can't nobody unwrap it. Yes. Glory to your name. Paul said, I am persuaded. <laughs> yes, hallelujah. You know, a lot of times you get persuaded to do this and do that. You didn't want to do it, but you were persuaded by someone else. Hmm. You better know who you're being persuaded by. Because like, a lot of times you can go fall right on any ditch. Hmm. Paul said, I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principality, that's that enemy on your back, trying to tell you something that's not real. Paul said, but I'm persuaded. I ain't believing that stuff. <laughs> yes, that's what he said. And that's what we have to learn to say. Confess God's word over your life every day. Speak the truth and lie not. Yeah, I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers. And you know we got some powers out there working. <laughs> nor things present, nor things to come. No heights. No depth, not any other creature. Ha! Better know who you're talking to. <laughs> yeah, watch them persuaded folks. Child, I wouldn't do that. I, 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 if I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't go there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Girl, I would do this and that. Mm -mm. The Bible said be persuaded by your own mind. That's why we better have a mind of our own. 
and be persuaded by it. Because you know right from wrong. Ain't nobody else got to tell you right from wrong. You know mama taught us that. And it took us till we got grown. And then we learned some stuff on our own. But it was lining up with God's word. Glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> it said no heights, no depths. I don't care how high you get, how low it is. Nor any other creature shall be able to separate you from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. That's who our Lord is. Jesus Christ. Our Lord, yes. Child, I would go here if I was you. I would do that if I was you. But you're not me. Follow your leader, which is our God. He says, search the scriptures. For in them, you might think you got eternal life. He said, but they are they that testify of me. They ain't talking about Jesus. You better leave it alone. Ha <laughs> ha. Man tell you anything. Have you walking lap leg and going crooked. <laughs> if you believe it. I know a lot of folks fell off the trail. Yeah, they tell you, child, you can't make it like that. No, I can't make it like that. Mm -mm. So what I have to say to you today, keep walking through your troubles. Because we're going to have troubles. But don't faint. And may God bless you. And may God keep you. that amen it's been a while since he preached the hell out of us but we thank God she done come on back amen back on the battlefield for the Lord amen and a message that we all can relate to amen like the word says you know we're gonna have trouble in this life amen what Jesus said, he said, but be of good cheer. He said, for I have overcome the world. Amen. He said, well, I've already overcome the world. You don't have to worry about anything that's going to happen to you in this world. Amen. And keep on walking through your trouble. Amen. Because trouble can't last always. Come on, somebody. It can't. It's impossible. It cannot last always, so you just got to keep walking through it. Amen. Anybody, been, anybody ever been, just kept walking through some trouble, and you, and before you know it, you done walk right through it, come right up out of it. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Just keep walking through your trouble. Amen. Keep, and keep praying through your trouble. Keep praising them through you. Come on, somebody. Through your trouble. Hmm? Amen. Man, I think, huh? Sometimes you got to think about all the Lord done brought you out of and through, you know. A lot of stuff we just don't forget God done did for us. 
Hmm. Ain't it been good? Ain't it been good? Amen. Amen. Well, I, re I received that word. I'm going to keep walking. Amen. Through my troubles. Hallelujah. You know, Paul has said, do we learn obedience from the things that we suffer? You know? Sometimes we have to suffer some things to, to grow up and grow spiritually. You know? Sometimes you go through a thing, you come out the other side of that thing wiser. Come on, somebody. Huh? Thank you. Stronger. Amen? Sometimes it's good that you went through that. Y'all hear what I'm saying? It was good that I went through that. It was rough, though, but it was good that I had to go through that. And he was there with me all the time. That's what the beautiful part about it, when you realize you feel like he's forsaken you. But he was there all the time. That's how you made it. Well, he said, if I be for you, come on, somebody. Amen. Huh? 